Welcome back to the October word of the day. And today's word is off. You know how you get to that point where you're just like, I need some time off. I cannot do this anymore. I can't go anymore. I need a break. When you reach that point of exhaustion, that point of overexertion, you just need to stop. And some of you feel like you can't stop. You feel like everything's going to fall apart if you stop. You don't know what's going to happen to the department. You don't know what's going to happen to your family. You don't know what's going to happen to this certain situation because you are such an essential part of it. You have positioned yourself in such a way that people need you. And you feel like if you pull back or you pull away, you're going to disappoint them. Not only are you going to disappoint them, but everything's going to fall apart but you need to flip that off switch. You cannot operate just running full throttle every single day, 24 seven. You need time to rest. You need time to relax. You need time to gather your thoughts, to figure out what your plan is going to be going forward. Because what happens when you operate in that on position consistently, you don't ever get the time that you need to recalculate and recalibrate, not just your strategy, but yourself. So we pride ourselves on the fact that we can keep going. We pride ourselves on the fact that no matter what happens, nothing is knocking you down in life. And you are not a woman who is going to stop. You're going to keep going by any means necessary. And sometimes by any means necessary is at the cost of you. It's at the cost of your sanity. It's at the cost of your health. It's at the cost of relationships, right? And we, when we show up in the world, we want to show up well. And well doesn't always mean performance. Well also means that we're showing up in a state of well-being. And that's what I really want to remind you about today. When you turn yourself in into off mode, what you're doing is you are resetting your mind. You're resetting your life. Today is Sunday. And today's a day where I'm going to take out my planner. I'm going to look at the week ahead. I'm going to look at how I'm going to approach different things. I'm going to look at everything. I'm looking at when am I going to wash my hair? When am I going to clean certain rooms in the house? I'm in the middle of decluttering and cleaning up my house and getting things ready for the next season of my life. All these things are things that I'm looking at. What am I going to cook? When am I going to cook it? When do I need to pick my children up from school? When am I going to read my Bible? When am I going to exercise? All these things, because they all touch who I am and they all matter to who I'm becoming. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Pull away, take some time away from all the things that you have to do so that you're also investing in who you need to be in order for those things to happen. And here's the thing. If we don't take time to flip that off switch, life is going to do it for us. And the last thing that you want is for a health scare or a mental crisis or a spiritual breakdown or a relationship breakdown to cause you to turn off. When you consciously and intentionally make time to turn off, you make time to decompress, to de-stress, to pull yourself away. And I'm talking away from social media, away from people, away from everything that distracts you. Because very often the things that we do for fun, the people whose company we enjoy, we're doing it because of escape. We're doing it because we actually don't have a plan in place for a better life. So we need to be distracted by a person, by an activity, by some form of entertainment. But taking that time to turn everything off and just spend time, I'm talking you and God and your journal. And just be quiet. Just be still in that moment. Pay attention to the patterns that you're seeing in your life. Pay attention to the plans that you have for your life. Pay attention to your prayers. Invite God into your planning session. Do that in your off time. You are worth discovering and you are worth the work that it takes when you are rebuilding yourself. You don't need to be distracted. You don't need to be entertained. You need to be purposeful.
And when you're being purposeful, you're going to feel so much better than when you're being distracted. Is it bad to hang out with people? No. Is it bad to watch TV or scroll on the web? No. But if it's distracting you from the life that you want, and if it's preventing you from actually planning and doing the things that you'd need to to be doing in order to live that life, then yes, it's a problem. And yes, you'll need to pull away. You'll need to just turn everything off. And that's okay. You do that for a season. You do that for a time. It could be half an hour. It could be an hour. It could be five minutes. But that off time is so essential. Start doing that this week and you will see a change in your life. You'll be able to plan more clearly. You'll be able to think more clearly because you're practicing the art of focus. And unless you turn everything off, turn off all that background noise, noise, turn off everything else that's happening, tune out everything else that's happening and just be fully present in that moment. And I promise you, clarity is going to come. And the funny thing about clarity is that often when it comes, it feels like confusion because it's, it's different. It doesn't sound like the chaos that we are used to. And you start to hear the inner voice that you didn't hear anymore. And you start to hear the inner dialogue that you didn't hear anymore. And it feels like, oh, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. All that is, is the many thoughts in your mind that you have never paid attention to. But if you can focus and write those things down, and sometimes it is not going to make sense. One of the best things that you can do is just sit for one minute, two minutes, and just write down every single thought that comes into your mind, just get it out. And sometimes you don't even realize that you're thinking the way that you're thinking, or you're feeling the things that you're feeling because you don't take the time to be still. So today, today, take just a minute, just a minute and be still and document what you hear in that stillness and make it a habit. Make it a weekly habit, make it a daily habit, however you, however you think that you need to implement it in your life, but you need that off time. It's absolutely essential. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. And I'll talk to you soon.